Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in Blackpool. And um, yeah, so I'll just show you around. Uh, I'm on the promenade here. And uh, I'm just going to show you around because it looks absolutely amazing here. I'm on North Promenade. I'll just give you a pan of the Irish Sea from what I can see up here. It looks absolutely amazing. Check this out. So there's Blackpool Tower and the North Pier and this looks absolutely amazing. Just look at this view we've got here. Doesn't this look absolutely amazing? The sun is just about to set. It's just gone behind some clouds. Right, okay, so since I did that pan, the sun has actually gone down behind me. Look at that sky behind me. Isn't it absolutely awesome? Anyway, a big shout out to Marvin Herbert, who I met before, just down here. Uh, we're just above the um, the old boat inlet there, which is now a go-kart track, as you can see. And Joe from North Shore as well, a big fan of my other channel. Anyway, this video is all about noctilucent clouds. Now, have you ever heard of noctilucent clouds? I bet you haven't. <laughs> well, I hadn't heard of them until about... 2013 that was three years after i started doing astronomy proper oh hey well that was weird my camera holder just completely went awol then and uh, yeah, the camera uh, turned off so anyway i'm back now i hadn't learned of not fluorescent clouds until about 2013 so that's about three years after i joined the club and got into astronomy properly so what not fluorescent clouds are are they are ice particles high up in the atmosphere i'm just showing you some pictures now that i've taken of them and they're very very high up in the mesosphere and what happens is at this time of year when we have a twilight can you see how the sun has gone down now we're now getting in towards mid-may and we're heading towards june the solstice so the the sky towards the north here can you see towards the north we're going to get a twilight not just yet, I still think it's a little bit early yet, but when we get into June, we're certainly going to have like a, a definite twilight towards the north there. And that's important for spotting these not to loosen clouds because the ice particles that form very high up in the mesosphere, they form on dust particles that are probably given off by volcanoes, um, meteors, smoke, all sorts of things that create dust in the upper atmosphere. That, that water vapour ice will stick onto and what happens is the ice forms on these dust particles right up in the high atmosphere and as you can see from the photographs they form these absolutely spectacular formations in the sky in the twilight sky now I tend to see these clouds I tend to see them in June I don't tend to see them this early now it depends where you are you need to be at a latitude ideally between about 50 degrees and maybe 65 you can be at a latitude either higher or lower than that it doesn't matter but in the uk on the south coast we're probably about 50 degrees and if you go right up to the north of scotland we're probably looking at close to 60 degrees you know if you go right up to the shetlands so that's the kind of range of latitude where it's best or where you're more likely to see these not fluorescent clouds in the summer yeah, so like I say, they're absolutely spectacular. And you know, there's another thing about them as well, is that um, they are actually more, I would say, of a meteorological phenomena than an astronomical. Although saying that, they do form quite high up in the atmosphere. And you know, they are literally on the edge of space, these ice formations. And another thing as well, is that you cannot predict them. They can be there one night, and then you can come back the next night it could be nice and clear again and you look out there after sunset you want to look around about maybe an hour after sunset when the sun has gone well down below the horizon now from here in blackpool the sun's gone down it's going to go down below the northern horizon and they go down 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 there until it gets to about maybe one o'clock then it'll start to rise up again 
and it'll rise up in the northeast at around about is it about five o'clock in the morning or something stupid like that now and so after sunset about an hour after sunset is when you've got a chance of spotted not to loosen clouds if it's nice and clear and they actually show up so you want to look out towards the northwest which is over there from from our perspective where the sun is setting now the northwest look look so far up the sky say about you know so far up say maybe 10 to 20 degrees up in the sky and see if you can see any kind of clouds that seem to have like a silvery bluish glow to them and if you do see those it's highly likely that those are not loose and clouds now what can happen is as the night goes on they can drift across as the sun goes down and down and down and sometimes they can disappear and they can disappear but they can reappear again in the morning towards the northeast as the sun starts to come up again so this is the thing but they can actually sometimes stay up all night long so you can actually watch the clouds drift across the sky absolutely amazing if you ever see them I'd, I'd really look out for them if you get the chance I'm just trying to give you uh, all the information here so that you know where to look when to look that sort of thing and uh, how to spot them and how to sort of tell them from normal clouds can you see these clouds here nice clouds aren't they these nice sweeping clouds here very light kind of clouds notice how they're dark against the sky not to loosen clouds will stand out against these because these are dark obviously and they're not loosen clouds they're like a glow like that silvery bluish glow to them and that's how you can tell what they are because they glow in the twilight not to loosen clouds absolutely amazing I'm going to see if I can do a live video on them. Hopefully I'll be able to do a live video. If you want to try and photograph them, it's fairly easy to photograph them. You can actually photograph them with a mobile phone. You don't need anything special to photograph them. It is better if you use a proper camera because you might need to whack up the ISO. Maybe 10 seconds at ISO 1600 and use a, a fairly wide lens and that would give you a good chance of getting a photograph of the not to loosen clouds if you happen to see them um, so like i say i'll probably do a live video on them i've shown you a few pictures here now it doesn't matter you don't need to be anywhere dark as you can see i've got pictures here that i've taken in blackpool absolutely amazing um, formations of not to loosen clouds you never know when they're going to appear they, they can they can like i say they can be there one night and gone the next but when you do see them they're unmistakable so there you go that's my little video on not to lose in clouds like i say i'm going to hopefully do a live video on them i might do a follow-up on this one if i happen to see them i'll do a video on them and i'll, I'll show pictures of them i'll probably take them from where i am now because this is a really really nice place to take a picture of the clouds because we're looking out over the irish sea it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing doesn't it so there you go, that was my video on not to loosen clouds. I hope I've given you some information on when, where to look and what they are and how you can tell them from normal clouds. So I hope you liked the video and if you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again next time.